Don't worry, darling. I prefer it if James doesn't wear a tie at all. It just takes me longer to undress him. Yeah. <laughs> darling, don't tell secrets out of the bedroom. <laughs> what bedroom? I'm talking about last night in the elevator of the equity building. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, could I tell you stories about this one? Oh, boy, can I tell you stories about this one? <laughs> Sure, I made them up, but they'd knock your socks off. <laughs> you know, James, it's funny how you ended up with someone from the other side of the river. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> it's no insult. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that my father worked on the tube for 30 years. My father sat in front of the tube for 40. <laughs> Do you know, before I worked for James, I almost got a job at Buckingham Palace doing the Queen's hair. Ah! I almost got a job in the village doing hair on Queens. <laughs> well, uh, Max Wellens, obviously, we are attracted to the same kind of woman. You've inherited my gift for mixing business with pleasure. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Father, but I hired Miss Fine solely for her extensive experience in childcare. That's right. You had enough. Now let's take it away. <laughs> so, James, you obviously did well for yourself. I mean, this isn't a cheap tie. <laughs> Although now it's not worth anything. <laughs> I do all right, Sylvia. I make most of my money in investments. In fact, I just got a hot tip. Guaranteed to triple your return. No commitment, short term. Oh, no commitment, short term? Hmm. Throw in some children and a dumped wife and you got your life. <laughs> Isn't this delightful? <laughs> Where did you get the exquisite shrimp? I came with her. <laughs> I meant the crustacean. Oh, she's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good. Well, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, Maxwell was calling me a trump. <laughs> no offense, Joan, but father, I cannot imagine what possessed you to bring this woman into my home. My poor mother sitting alone like a dog. I thought you hated your mother. Well, I like her now. <laughs> Anyone see Babe? <laughs> How'd they get that pig to line all those lines? <laughs> Cut your father some slack. I mean, he obviously just wants to live his life hassle-free without any commitments. Not unlike you. Let it go. The man's entitled to a girlfriend. And not if his wife has anything to say about it. <gasps> You're married? Mm. Isn't that delightful? <laughs> playing cat and mouse so long, I decided to make an honest woman out of that. <laughs> well, I was wrong. You and your father are completely different, and I like him better. <laughs> so, uh, Maxwell, how about a toast to me and my new wife? Oh. Wife? I think gold digger is a more appropriate description. How dare you speak to your mother like that, oh. huh? Stepmother, darling, youthful stepmother. <laughs> you think after all this, anyone would be in the mood for their little red potatoes? <laughs> what am I, nuts? A pig can't learn lines. <laughs> He must have used cue cards. <laughs> <laughs>